Huntsville is several thousand people larger this morning. That's because the Association of the U.S. Army Global Force Symposium and Exhibition is in town. And this three day event, which began this morning, is all about making the Army everything it needs to be in a modern, ever changing world. And News 19 Steve Johnson's been at the VBC all morning, and he's joining us right now live from there. Steve? Oh, thank you guys. Okay, I'm in the Bell booth. Uh, it used to be Bell Aviation, then it was Bell Helicopter, but I don't see any helicopters, but I do see some other interesting things. Carl Kaufman, you said you say it's to just Bell Y. So Bell is uh, not just a helicopter company anymore, Steve. We uh, do more than helicopter. We are a VTOL solutions company, so we provide VTOL solutions okay, across. Okay, what does VTOL stand for? Vertical takeoff and lift. <laughs> okay. Vertical takeoff and landing. So okay. um, that's what's unique about this uh, capability. This is the uh, f the future long range assault aircraft for the Army. Okay, so this this has been chosen. This has been down selected. Okay, absolutely. We um, we dared to bring a unique solution to the Army in the competition. Uh, designed, we refer to it as operator informed. Yeah. Designed by the rotorcraft engineers in the nation's only tilt rotor industrial base, which is Bell. We uh, demonstrated its capabilities through a rigorous flight okay. test program, and okay. we're going to deliver. Okay, so now this is designed. Uh, does this replace one of the large hel helicopters like the Chinook? Uh, does it replace UH-60? Yeah, the UH-60. Right. Our, so the Army was looking for a capability that would get it twice the range and twice the speeds of okay. its current fleet of rotorcraft. Based on the current threats and the distances you have to traverse uh, where we're going to fight a potential future fight, we needed that speed and range. So we brought a uh, – and the only way to get that really is – with the efficiency of being on a wing. You know, one of the themes here is uh, getting the arm, making the arm more agile. So I'm assuming a craft like this means you get to where the soldiers are needed sooner. Then that, that's the whole reason for doing it. That, that's correct, Steve. So this is, uh, we refer to it as strategic deployment followed immediately by tactical employment. So I can self-deploy this aircraft. I don't need to wait on a on a ship. I don't need to wait on strat lift aircraft to deploy it to a theater of operation. And when I arrive, I'm ready to put it in a tactical fight. And the ground maneuver soldier, the infantry squad, the basic fighting unit of the Army now has a range twice that that it had and a speed twice that that it had with the former current with the current rotorcraft okay. fleet. Okay, how many people does this, how many soldiers with equipment does this So carry? it's uh, 12 packs, uh, not including the crew. Okay. So it's a basic infantry squad okay. plus what we refer to as enablers. Okay, one of the things that happened with the older aircraft, the older helicopters, was the soldiers got bigger. So fewer soldiers right. could go. Right, Steve. Does this answer that problem where we, we can carry enough people with one trip? Absolutely. Purpose built and designed around the Army's requirement to move an infantry squad uh, okay. at the current weights that squads operate now. Uh, having been a former soldier, we always get new lightweight equipment, but that never lessened our total total burden, right? Yeah, you're, yeah. you're still going to load the soldier down with that, and this aircraft will be capable of doing that and getting them out at ranges well beyond the current fleet. Okay, so you're down selected. That means they're going to use this. So why are That's you right. here? Why are you at AOSA? Well, we're here to continue to demonstrate the value proposition of a long-range assault aircraft uh, and the requirements of that in the future fight. We know that operating in the, the Indo-Pacific, for example, or in Europe, um, rotorcraft are a little challenged now, as, as we're finding by lessons yeah. learned in Ukraine. And uh, the value proposition, proposition of this in terms of range, range and speed increases not only the lethality and options of the maneuver unit that's flying in it, yeah. but also the survivability of the crew that's flying and, the aircraft. And, and this, I mean, it is, about, it is about fighting when you have to fight, but it's also about keeping the warfighter, the soldier safe. That's, that's correct. So the aircraft is designed around that exactly. The cabin is protected. Okay. Uh, so the way the engineers, it's, we refer to it, again, as operator-informed engineering solution. Uh, and we took the squad and the soldier into account and built that into the uh, design All of the right. aircraft. All right, sir. Thank you. All right.